What's up my friends, welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. So over the past almost two years on the carnivore diet, I've been able to do what a lot of people struggle with. Over the past two years, I've been focusing on doing a carnivore bulk and I've successfully put on almost 40 pounds of muscle with just a tiny bit of fat and I've sustained it now with ease. I'm currently sitting at about 189 pounds. I started this journey at about 150 pounds, and right now I'm finding it super easy to maintain this amount of heavy body weight for my size, 5'10", 189. At first though, the carnivore diet was not allowing me to put on a single pound. Despite eating a ton, a ton of food and working out really hard, the first month, month and a half, I was kind of absolutely kind of dropping weight. But then I kind of discovered three rad tricks and I was talking to Drew Morg the other day and he was experiencing, he is experiencing sort of the same thing. Getting stronger, body reshaping, but not putting on the actual pounds on the scale. The scale is just not moving up for him. And we were chatting and talking shop and I totally remembered the three keys that allowed me to start to put on massive amounts of weight really easy. In today's video, I wanna share with you what those three things are that I did different that allowed me to go from not putting on any weight at all and actually almost losing weight on the carnivore diet to putting on tons and tons and tons of muscle and better yet, it's been sustainable. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'd like to ask you guys for a favor. If this content is enjoyable, entertaining, or educational, in other words, it's adding some positive enforcement and information into your life, go ahead and give the love back. Hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and help me spread the word so that all of us can live in a world where none of us have to be skin diseased up. We can all be eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis free. Thanks. So calories are still God. They are the most important thing and they are the place where most people mess up. Obviously, you gotta eat enough food and obviously you gotta do resistance training, but how on the carnivore diet do you get the surplus of calories you need? And that's what I'm about to talk about. Get fat, get fatty, butter up everything. So when I started really going through the process of putting on muscle, and feeling really awesome on a carnivore keto diet, it's when I started putting fat on everything in the form of either tallow or goat butter. And I'm not talking like a little bit of butter on my food. I'm talking if I have some steak or if I have some ground beef or if I have some salmon, I'm gonna eat a stick or a half a stick of butter right along with that thing. Or I'm gonna use something like tallow and eat two to five pounds of it every single day on top of my normal food. Now, what does this do? Especially the butter trick. Butter is so easy to digest. You don't even really know that you're eating it and you can eat a ton of it without really expanding your gut. So you can get all the protein that you need and then on top of it, just be smashing in the butter with every single meal. Doing this allows you to literally put on an extra 1,500 to 1,000 calories with absolute ease. Butter up everything, butter up everything, butter up everything, three things will happen. One, your omega fat ratio, omega threes to omega sixes, and your overall fat macro percentage will go through the roof and all of your macros will be balanced. Number two, you'll finally get enough calories to put on real amount of weight. You have to be in a surplus if you want to put on muscle. And all of that fat is so condensed that it will not mess your digestion, your gut health, or your skin up at all. Trick number two, if you're trying to bulk on a carnivore diet, you can't be a Nazi about your carbs. The carnivore diet is not the same as a keto-focused approach. On the carnivore diet, you're eating animal foods and animal foods only. So you don't really have to limit what carbohydrates are coming in from those animal foods. And the biggest error I see in a lot of people on the carnivore diet is that they think that they can eat enough beef and salt to have them gain a ton of weight. 
that's just a really tough thing to do. Reason one is if you're having that much protein, your body is probably going into glucogenesis. Your body's trying to convert the protein into carbohydrates and a lot of hormonal stuff is just not going on. Now, when your macro percentage change and you have plenty of fat to fuel your body's energy systems, it's not going to use the protein for energy. It's going to use the protein to build your freaking muscles and put some weight on. When you add the carbohydrates to that situation, you're adding the calories and you're also adding some positive insulin response. Adding some carbohydrates will up your hormonal response during the day, during the nighttime. It will also allow your workouts to be slightly more explosive. It also just simply rounds out your calories. So how the hell do you get extra carbohydrates on a carnivore diet? You're gonna have to use things like goat yogurt or honey, and you can use pretty large amounts. By adding goat yogurt, you're gonna have extra carbs in your diet, and by adding honey, you're gonna have really easily digestible extra carbs in your diet. You have to find your magic number though. So you have to add carbs, but you've got to avoid going into dysbiosis. And everyone will be slightly different. In my opinion, the key number for most people is right around 100 grams of carbs per day. If you're around 100 grams of carbs per day or under, it gives you the best of both worlds. A ton of extra calories, a ton of extra fuel, some hormonal support for your workouts and your post-workout um, recovery and just ups the calories all the way to a really saturated place. And if you keep your carbs at 100 or under, the dysbiosis, the too much fat and too much carbs in the gut at the same time just never comes into play. And number three, this is an error so many people make and they just don't realize they're screwing things up again by not getting enough calories. If you're intermittent fasting, if you're doing eat, stop, eat, if you're doing OMAD, if you're doing some dry fasting, you are really hurting yourself. If you're a lean person, if you're watching this video, it means you're on the carnivore diet or something like it, and you're looking to actually put on muscle. If you're looking to put on muscle, you wanna stay away from catabolic phases of life. Fasting is a catabolic phase. The number one thing for gaining weight is resistance training plus calories. And if you're spending half of your day or 22 hours in a day fasting, well, you're missing out on a lot of time you could be eating. Plus, for most people, and look yourself in the, in the mirror, you're a thin dude, you're a hard gainer, you're having trouble putting on muscle. Most likely, you also have trouble eating enough food throughout the day to provide your body with the extra calories it needs to build that mass. So, how can a person like you in one meal or in two meals after fasting all day, eat the 3,500 or 4,000 calories it actually takes per day to gain sustainable muscle and weight. You really can't. So instead of relying on intermittent fasting and eat, stop, eat, or OMAD, eat breakfast. Eat three, four, five, 26 meals per day. Do whatever it takes to one, take care of your digestion. Don't overeat, don't overdo it, but two, eat enough calories throughout the day. You can hear me repeating this often in this video, calories, 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 because that truly is the entire game. If you start to go crazy with the fats and the butter, just eating a ton of it with every single meal, if you stop your fear of carbs and you bump those carbs up slightly, keeping them out of the dysbiosis range, but really allowing those carbs to round out your caloric source and help your hormones, plus you stop the intermittent fasting and the one meal a day dieting, you will give your body the best chance to get enough calories, enough protein, and enough fat to help you gain muscle and gain weight and sustain it forever. All right, good people, leave all of your questions and comments down below. If you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. You can also find all of my skin health offerings at holistichealthactivation.com. There you can find the three phases workbook. On Instagram, you can find me as Stuart, Rob Stewart, but in real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Bye.